How clean are the streets in your neighborhood? There's an actual tool that measures that. It's called the Litter Index. Zach Tecklenburg shows us how it works and how it helps keep Kansas City neighborhoods clean. Boy. Okay, fellas, let's heal. Of all the things John and Nancy Harrell love about living in Old Northeast Kansas City, it's the parks where they walk their dogs. Good boys. All the litter they see on those walks is at the other end of their list. It's just as easy to hang on to your trash and throw it away in the trash can or to find a trash can as it is to toss it. Uh, I, I don't understand. Of the more than 30 different zones divided up in Kansas City, the Old Northeast comes in as the most littered. Messes like these are the reason why. Kate Becker leads the effort to find the garbage and map it out on a litter index. Random blocks from all over the city are scored on a scale of one to four. One indicates that there's no litter present on that block. Two indicates that it's slightly littered. Three is littered and four is extremely littered. The current citywide average is around one and a half. Which means we're not very littered, but when you realize it's an average, there are certainly some segments that do get threes or fours. The city of Kansas City and nonprofits target the trouble spots for cleanups. The litter index also keeps Kansas City in compliance with the national organization Keep America Beautiful, which pays for improvements like these dozens of trees planted in an east side neighborhood. It's all about people's personal choices. And until everyone makes the decision to hold on to their garbage. We see trash every day, trash that wasn't here before. This group will have their work cut out for them. In Kansas City, Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News. The Kansas City's trash index will be taken next weekend. You can sign up to help with a group on the website called Bridging the Gap. That's also where you can see the most recent litter index map.